Hello, my name is Michael Lopez and today we are going to be talking about ESPN's uh, sports media platform and what we're going to talk about is how the network itself generates revenue and the many things that it that it has to offer has, that is bringing in its revenue. So for the first example we want to take uh, ESPN has a, roughly about four different television channels which offers um, many users to look at highlights, look at different news uh, media, and watch different um, sporting events. Uh, obviously, they're getting, they're paying the cable network. We're paying the cable network, which is going through a percentage to them. Um, other than that, we're looking at ESPN magazine. Uh, it's we're buying subscriptions, buying the magazines as singles, and then also the advertising that it's using in its magazine um, for the ads. Uh, third, we want to look at uh, the website as a whole, including Score Center as a media app for a daily basis, but that's free. So we're looking at the blog subscriptions where if you read so much, um, we are looking at generating... Um, a subscription monthly subscription to read more about about blog uh, you know whatever the the journalists are writing about um, so roughly ESPN is bringing is everywhere you know in advertising bringing at least more than two billion a year in advertising revenue um, and in 2013 the revenue is close to nine billion for cable players uh, such as L Liberty Media, Tribune, um, and other broadcast network like CSBC, uh, C CBS. Um, so those are the three uh, really quick revenue getters for ESPN. Um, that's that's the main things that they're looking that we're looking at. Um, you know they have something going with the football. Uh, baseball and basketball, and then also we want to look at where it, where it's going as far as PlayStation 4, the Xbox 360, we can all get on ESPN through that as well. So it's definitely a big, uh, a big revenue getter right there. Uh, thank you so much, and thank you for listening.